today I'm going to show you how to make a Dutch spiral necklace. I had somebody request that I make a Dutch spiral necklace and so that's why I'm doing this. Plus I want to show you how I end my Dutch spirals because a lot of times you can find a stitch online but you can't find it as a finished product though the Dutch spiral does seem to have some necklaces and, and bracelets. Um, tutorials. Anyway, this is the way I do it. I do it a little differently than other people. I've simplified it to the point where it's really easy to end your project. Um, I used to make tons of Dutch spirals when I very first started. You can, they're so versatile. Start experimenting with them. Use different size and types of beads and um, use different lengths of the loose stitch here. You can use, I've used six beads in my loose stitch. Stitch, you can use up to 10, 12, 22, it doesn't matter. You, you can make it really dramatic with big beads. You can make it smaller with little beads. It's really versatile stitch. So once you learn this, you can play with it and make a million different necklaces that don't look anything alike. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what we need to make one of okay, these. Okay, for this project, we'll, we will be using 11O and 8O seed beads. My 11O is a Toho Ivory AB Opaque, and my Edo is also a Toho, and it is Ancient Turquoise Opaque. I will then be using a 4 millimeter glass pearl, and this is a bronze colored glass pearl. You do not have to use a 4 millimeter glass pearl if you do not want to. You could use a 4 millimeter bicone crystal or a 4 millimeter fire polish bead. That would be fine. You can switch out the beads. This is a very forgiving type of pattern so you can switch them out quite easily. Just make sure they're four millimeter in size so that they go well with the instruction I give you today. You will also need a toggle clasp to finish the project off with. You will also need thread. I am going to use 10 pound nano fill today. You can also use eight pound nano fill or six or eight pound fire line. I suggest nano fill or fire line because you will need to extend your thread in this project, probably more than once. If you do not know how to extend your fire line or nano fill, you can refer to the tutorial on this channel called Threading a Beading Needle or Adding Thread to a Project and Adding Thread to a Project actually. That video will show you how to extend your fire line. That's why I suggest nano fill or fire line because you can extend it quite easily. If you do not have those threads, you can still do this project. And that video that I referred will also show you how to tie on to a project if you are not using nano fill or fire line. Then you will need a size 10 beading needle or a 12. Size 12 will work also. I am using a size 10 English beading needle today. So let's go ahead and get started with this project. Thread onto your needle at least a yard, a yard and a half of thread. You can put more if you would like, however it tangles easier the more thread you put on. So I always start with around a yard, maybe a little over. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to start this project, you will pick up one of your four millimeter beads. In my case, it's the pearl. And then I'm going to pick up two 11 O seed beads. And then I'm going to pick up four 8 O seed beads onto my needle. So this is what you should have. You should have your four millimeter bead, two 11 O's and four 8 O's. Then you're going to take these and draw them down to the end of your thread. Leave a 12 to 14 inch tail for your clasping if you want to do it that way. Otherwise, just leave a couple of inches and you can extend it later to do your clasping. Either way works fine. I am going to just leave a couple of inches and extend my thread to put my clasping on. That way my tail will not get in my way. Your working thread is the part that has your needle on. Your tail is the part behind the beads after you slide them down. You're going to take your working thread, your needle, and you're going to push it up through the very first bead you put on on the tail side of your thread. And you're going to 
Hold on to your bead and pull the thread through. Hold on to the tail at the same time and just draw these beads into a circle. Then once you have drawn them into a circle, you're going to sew through all of the beads. So I'm coming out of the pearl, I'm going to go into the two 11 O's. I hold my thumb and finger over them to hold them tight so that they don't move on the thread. And then I'm going to go over to the eight O's and slide through all four of them. I will hold my thumb and forefinger together and then I am now coming out where my working thread and my tail thread meet. I'm going to use the two of them to tie a little overhand knot. So just cross your threads, make a loop, go through the loop with your tail thread and pull a little knot down between the beads, tighten it, and then we will begin again. So now I just have a little circle of beads like this and it's secure, it's not going to slide. Leave a little tiny bit of slack in here so that you can move between the beads as you start your spiral. Go through the pearl. So I'm coming out between the two beads, the 80 and my four millimeter bead. I'm going to go into the four millimeter bead and pull my thread through. And now I am ready to start my spiral. In this particular pattern, the approach that I am taking the direction that I'm going to sew in, you will always pick up the bead you're going to go into next first. The 11 O's we will not count as the bead we're going into, though we will pick them up right after we come out of the pearl. But we will skip over the top of them in the previous round. We will never go through them. So what I mean by picking up the bead that we are going, going to go into next is we will go into this 8 seed bead next. So after we pick up our um, 11 O's, we will also pick up an 8 This time we're going to pick up three 11 O's and an 8 because we want to extend this little portion of 11 O's as we work through our spiral. For the first six rounds, we will add one more bead than we did the previous round. So we have two on, we're going to put three on, we're going to put an 8 on because that is the next bead that we're going into. So basically, just pick up the 11 O's and ignore them. Pick up an 8 and go through the next 8 right after the 11 O's and pull. Turn your work a little bit. And now we're going to do a peyote stitch basically on the 8 O's. So with the peyote, you're coming out of one bead, you skip, skip the next bead, and then you go into the following bead. So if we're going to go into this 8 O seed bead, we know we need to pick up an 8 O seed bead. So we're going to, we're coming out of this bead, we're going to skip this bead and go into the next 8 O here. And then just pull them tight. They should pull up on top of each other, but they won't do it perfectly. It'll be sloppy this first round, so don't worry about it too much. It's just going to look messy. Now we are coming out of this 8 If we are going to skip a bead and go into the next bead, then we know we are going to be going into the pearl. Therefore, we need to pick up a pearl. So we're going to pick up a pearl, and we're going to go into the pearl on the previous round. At this point, once you get the pearl on, you can kind of cup these beads a little bit between your fingers and pull your tension tight so that they line up on top of each other. Now we're coming out of this pearl here. We're going to pick up our 11 O's and our color, our turquoise color 8 here. So if we're going to add one each round, we just put on three, we're going to pick up four of our 11 O seed beads. Then we're going to pick up our 8 O. We're going to skip over the previous 11 O's and go directly into the very first 8 O behind those 11 O's. So go right into that 8 O and then hold on to it and pull. Now it will really start stacking well so that you can see that it's curving up. Now I'm coming out of this 8 
I'm going to skip this 8 and go into this 8 so I know I need to pick up an 8 since I'm going into one. So now I'm going to go into this next 8 and pull the 8 I picked up down into that little voided area. Now I'm coming out of this bead, I'm going to skip this one and go into the pearl. So I'm going to pick up a pearl and go into this pearl that's lifted up above the rest of the beads. And here I can again tighten my round. So I'll just pull on it like so. Oh, it looks really weird, but that's okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to pick up our 11 O's. We're going to pick up five this time. So I'll pick up five 11 O's and then an 8 O. Skip over the 11 O's, go into the very first 8 O in the 8 O right behind the 11 O's, right here, and pull. And that's what it's starting to look like. It's starting to cone up. Now you will see that your beads, you can see easier the ones that are lifted above the other ones. And you know that you have to place your beads in between the ones that are lifted. So I'm coming out of this 8 -oh. This one's lifted. I'm going to skip the one that's down inside the little grooved area here in the little void. So I'm going to pick up an 8 -oh go into the lifted bead right here and pull. And turn this a little bit. My next lifted bead is my pearl. So I'm going to skip over this 8 and go into the pearl. So I'm going to pick up a pearl and go into the pearl, skipping over the 8 down in the little depression there. Here I will adjust my tension again and now I am coming out of this pearl. Every time you're coming out of a pearl you know it's time to pick up your 11 O's. So we will pick up six this time and six is as large as we're going to go with this one because I want to um, retain a pretty good tubular shape. You can increase your seed beads of your 11 O's in this particular step to as many as you want. I've done it up to 12 and 15 beads when I wanted to make a really dramatic type of draping um, stitch. But for a necklace, I want to retain the shape a little, so I'm only going to go up to six. So for now on, every time I come out of my pearl, I'm going to pick up six 11 O's. And then I'm going to pick up one 8 -0 and I'm going to go into the 8 behind the 11 O's on the previous round and pull this down like so. Now I am coming out of this 8 here. I'm going to pick up an 8 skip an 8 and go into the next 8 the one that is raised and pull. Continue to adjust your tension. When you pull to adjust your tension, make sure you pull straight out of the bead. Because if you're using crystals or something over here and you pull, you're going it and you pull up, you can break your thread. So you want to pull straight. Make sure you always pull straight when you tighten your tension. I'm coming out of this 8 -oh. My next bead that is raised is my pearl, so I know I'm going to pick up a pearl because I'm going to go into a pearl. And now I'm going to go into that pearl. Again here, I will adjust my tension by tugging on it a little bit, and then I will pick up my six 11 O seed beads. And my 8 O. I will skip over the 11 O's and go into the first 8 O right behind them in the previous round. And pull them down. Make sure you tighten your tension as you do this because you can loosen it as you're doing this. Then pick up an 8 seed bead. Skip this 8 here. Go into the raised 8 
and place your new 8 oh down inside there. Adjust your tension and then now you're coming out of this 8 -oh. the next raised bead it is the pearl so you're going to pick up a pearl and go into the pearl. and adjust the tension. And again, we're coming out of the pearl, so as soon as we come out of that large four millimeter bead, we know we're going to pick up our series of 11 O seed beads. So pick up your six 11 O seed beads onto your needle, and then pick up your 8 O. Skip over all of the 11 O's, and go into the next 8 O on your piece and pull. And now we're in our 8 o so we're going to pick up an 8 o we're going to go into the next raised 8 o on the piece. And just continue adjusting your tension. And then pick up a pearl coming out of the 8 oh we're going to go into the pearl and place a pearl on the piece. And then again pick up 6 8 oh or 11 oh seed beads, excuse me. And then an 8 oh like so. Coming out of the pearl, we're going to go into the next 8 oh skipping over the 11 oh's in the previous round. And pull. The tension gets easier to maintain the bigger the piece gets. When you're using a large bead like <clears throat> the pearl here, a lot of times your stitch can be rather thready and it's hard to maintain tension. So you just have to keep adjusting until you can get a handle on it. I'm placing my 8-0 and now I'm going to place my pearl and I'm just going to continue doing this so I will pick up six more eleven O's and an eight O. skip all the eleven O's go into the next eight O. And then pick up my next 8 oh go into the next raised 8 oh and adjust my tension like so. Pick up a pearl and go into the next pearl. And you can see my spiral is starting. You're going to continue doing this exact same stitch until you get all the way to the length that you want your necklace to so be. So I have made several rows now and I just wanted to show you how it progresses. This is what it looks like once you get several rows going. It's really quite pretty. So I will just continue to an inch and a half short of the length I want and then we will be back and I will show you how to clasp your necklace. Okay, so as you can see, I have made my um, stitch to the point of length that I want for my necklace. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start tapering down. So I have 17 inches of um, my stitch right now. So I'm going to start tapering down because this side, as you can see, is an open tube because that's the side I'm working. This side I started was smaller and pulled together. So I need to do the same with this side. I have got six um, 11 O seed beads in my stitch each time right now. I have made my entire length six seed beads right here after I worked my way up to six. Then I just continued using six. Now I have to work my way down to two because that's what I started with with my um, beginning unit. So 
I'm coming out of my purl here. That's where I start each stitch. So I know that I can start my next stitch, but this time, instead of picking up six 11 o seed beads and then my 8 o, I am going to pick up just five 11 o seed beads and then my 8 o, like this. So I am going to then do exactly the same thing I've been doing. I'm going to go over to my first um, 8 o seed bead and go through it and then I'll adjust my tension and then I will pick up my next 8 seed bead. I will deposit it in this little um, divot here by going through the bead that's sticking up in my section of 8 o's. And now I need to pick up my pearl because I'm going to skip this bead and go into my pearl so I know I need a pearl on my thread and I will pull my pearl through. Now I'm going to do the same stitch again except for this time I will pick up four 11 o seed beads onto my needle. Let's get just a little bit closer. <clears throat> I'm going to pick up my four 11 o's. I'm coming out of my pearl so I know it's time to pick up my 11 o's and my 8 o. So I've got my beads on here and I will go into the next blue bead I will then pick up my next 8 o and go into the bead that's sticking up in my 8 o section. <clears throat> I will then pick up my pearl and go into the pearl here. Now I'm coming out of the pearl again, so I will pick up two 11 o seed beads, my 8 o, and I will skip over the section of 11 o's, pick up my 8 o and pull this. Now you're going to have to pull this kind of tightly so that it cinches it together nicely. Then you are going to pick up one 8 seed bead, go into the next sticking up 8 -o. Here I am not going to add another pearl because I want to close this down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this pearl here. So I've got my little 8 o's here. I'm coming out of the sticking out 8 o. I'm going to go up into this pearl right here that's already on my piece. And I'm just going to pull this tightly. I'm going to sew back through the pearl here. I'm going to go up through just two 11 o seed beads right here. Right here. Pull it tight. And then I'm going to pick up the three uh, sticky or the two sticking up 8 o seed beads. See these two sticking up ones? I'm going to go through them and pull it tight. So I'm selectively picking beads to close this with. So make sure you pay attention to which ones I'm picking up. And then go back through your two pearls here. and pull this tightly. Okay, so now we have closed up this end. What we are going to do is we are going to, and it looks pretty close to this end. There might be some slight differences, but they're pretty close to the same. So what we're going to do now is I'm coming out of this pearl right here. I am going to pick up an 11 o seed bead onto my needle, and I'm going to go from this pearl to this 8 o right here and place that little 11 o in my closing area here. Now I'm going to sew through the next 8 o because I'm coming out of an 8 o. I'm going to sew through the next 8 o and I am going to pick up an 11 o seed bead and go into the pearls. Now if, if your end looks a little bit different than mine just navigate through it to where you can put two 11 o's at a decent um, distance apart from each other pretty evenly. So if you have to, you can go between the two 8 and then two, two pearls, whatever. But the easiest way is to go between the pearls and the 8 like so, and just skip the other beads in the round. Now I'm going to come up through this 11 seed bead right here. This is my own way of doing this. I devised this a long time ago just because I thought it was a nice, easy, attractive way to do this. So I'm going to pick up two 11 o seed beads. I'm coming through the 11 o I just put on. 
I am then going to pick up an 8 seed bead, like so. So I've got two 11 O's and an 8 O. And then I am going to go through my clasp, like so. I'm going, I'm going to drop this down to my piece. Then I'm going to go around the clasp loop into, so I'm coming out of my clasp. I'm just going to go then into the 8 seed bead. I'm going to hold on to the 8 and pull the clasp down. Now I'm coming out of the 8 here. I've got my clasp up here. I am going to look at my 11 and find the side that I am not exiting from. So I'm coming out here. I've got, I put my beads on this side of the 11 So I'm going to pick up two 11 O's and I'm going to go into the side that my beads are not coming out of. So the opposite side right here. Let's get really close so you can see. So I started on this side, I'm coming into this side, and I'm going to pull <clears throat> my beads down to the 8 out like so. Now I'm going to sew through these two 8 so I'm coming out of the 11 o that I'm attaching to. I'm then going to go through the two 8 o's right here on this piece, right here. <clears throat> pull it tight and then go through the 11 o that you added between your beads, right here. Again, pick up two 11 o seed beads, come up through the 8 o on the clasp, and through the clasp, like this, and pull. Then come down around the clasp into the 8 o like so. Hold on to your 8 o and pull your thread through. Then you will come down into, you'll pick up two 11 o's and you'll come down into the opposite side of the 11 o we put on on our last step. Go into the opposite side here. Now what you have is a little connection that looks kind of cute. Now there are things you can do if you feel like it's too open and funny looking. There are things you can do to close this up a little bit more. You can pick up three more 11 o seed beads if you would like. And then you can go, so I'm coming out of these, this 11 o after adding this part of the clasping. So now I'm going to go into the 11 o that I added when I um, very first put on the 11 o's in the last step before I went up through the top of the clasping. So just go through that 11 0 there and pull those beads down. It kind of closes that up. Then we're going to go to this side. We're going to pick up three more 11 0 seed beads. Or you can use 15 0s or you don't even have to do this part. It's up to you. So I'm coming out of this bead here. I'm going to find the bead on the other side, the 11 o that I put in when I started after I closed up my stitch and pull. Now it just makes kind of a little bobbly end. It's not perfect and laying in perfect shape, but it's really cute and really pretty. And nobody's gonna scoff at that. It looks just fine, especially when it's not under magnification. And my camera is really magnified, so it may look messy to you, but it's really not. Let's back off a little so you can see. It actually looks pretty good. So let's get close and tie this off now. Now if you feel like you need to sew up through your clasping more, you can do that before you add these three beads on either side. Just sew back up through the ones that you had originally put on and go through your clasp a couple of times. So just sew up through there, go through the 8 go around, go back into the 11 and then you can also do that on the other side go up, come through the 8 and then go to the other side and do it. So you can sew through and secure your clasp as much as you would like because sewing through it just twice is really not quite enough. But for the sake of the video, that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to sew down through, I'm coming out of this 11 uh, I'm going to sew down through this 8 here and the, or not 8 excuse me, the pearl and the pearl next to it and I'm going to pull my thread through. And then again, I will go down into the next pearl. 
So I'm just trying to get into another row because these rows are kind of loose. So you don't want to go too crazy because on a Dutch spiral, it's kind of loose. So if you sew through and pull it really tight, you're going to pull them into out of whack, actually. So I'm coming out of this pearl here. I'm going to follow my thread path, and I'm going to go into the th these three beads here, into the 8 Now we've got a little thread bridge here, which is the thread between beads, is what a thread bridge is, right here between these two 8 -0s. I am going to go under that, create a loop, and then I'm going to go through the loop and tie a knot. And then I'm going to sew into the next 8 -0. And the 8 -0. after that, I'm now a row lower, actually, which is fine. And then I will grab another knot on this thread bridge right here between the 8 -0s. I can get it. Ah, okay. Right here. And then I'm going to pull another knot. Now, like I said, this is a kind of a thready spiral, but as you're wearing it, you're really not it's you're not going to see the threads. I mean, it's just the way that it goes together. Don't worry about it. It's fine. You didn't do anything wrong. It's just the way it is. Unless you use really small beads and you have them really tight together, you're going to see the thread a little bit. But on the neck and as you're wearing it, it's not going to be under magnification and you're not going to see it, so it'll be fine. Then let's cut off our thread after knotting it a couple times and sewing through a few beads. You can knot and sew as much as you want. Then I'm going to burn that down. And that is what my clasping looks like. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to extend my fire line and I'm going to do the same thing. Now, as you can see, my other side is a little bit different than the last side. So what I will do is I will just sew through and I will pull the, let, let's just do it. Let me extend my fire line and I'll show you what I will okay, do. Okay, so as you can see, I have now extended my fire line and I am ready to put my clasping on this end. This end looks a little bit different than this end did. So all I have to do is make sure that I get my 211 O's centered on here. So even though it's not, it doesn't exactly look like my other end, I'm showing you this because yours may not look exactly like my other end did. So this is how you figure it out. I'm coming out of this um, pearl right here. I'm going to go up into this one and pull my thread through. What I want to do is I just want to basically ignore these 11 O's down here and I want to put 11 O here and 11 O here. So what I'm going to do is I'm coming out of this pearl now. I'm going to pick up an 11 O. I'm going to go through these two 8 O's. So I'm creating myself a nice place to put my clasping. So now I am going to put another 11 O here and go up through the pearl on this side. And I have to pull my little extension through. And now I have two 11 O seed beads on either side here. So what I have to do is go through this pearl here and then come up through this 11 O seed bead here. And then again, I will pick up two 11 O seed beads, an 8 O, my other end of my clasp, like this. I will drop these down. I will then come around and go through just the 8 seed bead, pull this through, and then I will pick up two 11 seed beads and go back into the opposite side of the 11 that I'm attaching to. Now you can sew through this again. Let me show you how to do this again just to make sure that it's nice and um, secure. So let's just go up through to the other side this way too. Just go up through again the side that you just put on. Like so. Go around the clasp, go back through. This is the way you can secure it. Make sure you have more thread running through it. Then go through the 11 -0. So through the two eight o's here, pick up or go through the eleven o, pick up two eleven o seed beads and 
go up through your 80 like so and then go around the clasp through the 80 pull your thread through pick up your other two 80s and go into the other side uh, or your other two 11 O's excuse me and go through the other side of the 11 o you're attaching to. So now you can sew back up through that again. Kind of pull your clasp away a little bit so that you can move through the between the 8 o and the clasp. Go ahead and sew through that again. Add your two little or your three little seed beads go into the seed bead you're attaching to on that side and then the three and go into the seed bead you're attaching to on this side just like we did on the other side and then we will be back go ahead and sew through it tie off like we did on the other side and we will be back okay so I finished this end just like I showed you how to do this end as you're sewing through if you need to add a little 11 o seed bead here and there to fill in spaces you can do that too just kind of create your own little ending with that it's just a good place to start and you can modify it any way you want to make it look as pretty as you want to but this is a real simple way to end a spiral like this especially a Dutch spiral it works really good so anyway, that's what that looks like. Let me show you what the entire necklace looks like. Let's see, let's back off a little bit here. I'll just do this, that's what I'll do. That's what that looks like. Get a little closer so you can see how pretty it is. And that's what the Dutch spiral looks like in necklace form. Um, at least my way of doing this spiral in necklace form. <laughs> anyway, there you go. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and make yourself a nice pretty necklace. Bye-bye.